Hey guys, welcome to my review of the Cyclone antenna system from Titan Drones. Titan sent me this antenna to do a review and to test it out for myself after my minimal skepticism on the Mavic Pilots forum. It came nicely packaged in a UPS box and inside was the Titan Drones logo staring at me. Inside everything was well packaged and well thought out. I mean, they really sent everything. They even sent a cleaning cloth to clean the antenna. But, hey, whatever. It comes with everything. You can see that this is it on the antenna. And all the bracketry is included, as is the wires that go inside of it. So, really, all you need is a remote and this kit. And you can mod your remote yourself. This is me testing it in the 100 plus degree heat in the middle of Arizona. And uh, it performed very well. These are the push and pull QMA connectors that come with the kit. I've never seen these before. They're very, very nice. And it kind of goes with the all-in-one kit. This is a test I did last Saturday. And there's my drone getting ready. I kind of wanted to push this antenna to its limits. And I pushed it to as far as the battery would let me. About 40,000 feet. That's a pretty good distance for any antenna, I would say. This system is really nice because it has a T-lock system and again, those push on QMA connectors. In this next clip, I'll show you where you just put the antenna on, twist it, and then you literally just click on the cables, which is genius. You just set the antenna on this, honestly, because I was filming it, it took a little longer, but it just twists on like that and it's super solid. Then you grab the cord and you just push it on, snap, and then you go snap and you snap the other side. And just like that, it's on. It has a little voltmeter on the antenna and a little battery meter. It's kind of nice. But you turn the remote on, you turn the antenna on, and there you go. You're ready to go. My only gripe, again, is it's kind of heavy hanging off the front of the remote. But with the phone in it, it gets better. Now let's talk about the competition. This is a Max UAV kit. Kind of a similar setup. It has two amps, a battery, and the panel antenna. You can see it's all separate and kind of exposed. This is just the panel alone, and this is kind of what everybody uses. If you don't have an amp setup, that is. But if you do, you need a battery box, you need the two uh, amps on the side, and you need the antenna out front. And then you got to have all these 3D printed parts to hold it together. Titan went ahead and built a polycarbonate case and the T-Log system to enclose everything. It's super smart. I really, really like how slick this thing is. There's it on the scale. With the remote, it's about 981 grams. 314 for just the stock DJI remote. That's an unmodded remote there. And there's the antenna, 601 grams, just alone. Now here's that same flight I was telling you about. I did 40,160 feet. I think it put me in ninth place on the uh, leaderboard. The key thing here is there was no warnings. I never had a flicker or a loss of signal or nothing. There's healthy drones analysis of the flight green all the way there and all the way back. Here's kind of my summary. I started on the Mavic Pilots website generally critiquing the antenna. I'm kind of eating a little bit of crow now. See, these guys have been around for a long time building tactical cases for police and fire. The problem is, is that nobody really heard of them in the consumer space. Everybody heard of DBS and Max UAV, etc. So I was off, I you know, I was generally critical of whether this system would work or not. James at Titan Drones decided to send me the antenna probably just to shut me up. I have to say he's been very, very generous and very, very nice. And I even offered to pay for the antenna, but he refused. However, after testing it, I can honestly say that had I paid the $249 for it, I think I'd be very, very happy with it. If you live in a heavily wooded, heavily Wi-Fi, lots of mountains, trees, buildings, etc. This is really the antenna for you. I mean, unless you like packing around all that stuff and worrying if your amps are working and your cords are working, I've used both. And frankly, this is really the easiest way to get around and have an amped antenna system with you. It just really is. So much so that even Max UAV now has started carrying the Titan drones antennas, which is really smart on his part. Really, he was taking a DBS antenna or an IT elite uh antenna system and kind of 
taking things that were known to work and putting them all in a 3D printed system and selling them on his website for $329. At $249, you really cannot go wrong on this antenna. My experience and the experience of others is, is that it generally performs equal to the Max UAV system. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot. Subscribe and ask any questions down below, and I'll see you.